how on earth do you maintain any coverage, any ratings on these tech companies, given we have no way to model 2020? It's a great question, and I can tell you, 20 years covering tech stocks, you know, through all the crisis, I mean, this is unprecedented. And I could just tell you what we're doing with investors is basically stress testing the models and really looking at worst case, in our opinion, going out past the next three to six months, but nine, 12, 18 months, what these models look like to start to give some scenarios where you could do valuations. And, uh, you know, obviously with the world changing, Look, it's darker days ahead, and everyone knows that. But from an investor perspective, it's trying to put some framework around these models in, in a scenario. Well, let's talk about it, Dan, how you model any kind of valuation, any valuation metric to lean on at the moment. Do you look at realized earnings from the previous year, or do you look ahead to 2021? Because for quite easily, for most people, 2020 is just a write-off. What do you lean on? What kind of metric for evaluation for some of these companies out there? Yeah, so for me, 2020, what we're basically viewing is you, you can't use that. You almost have to view it as a throwaway year, as insane as that sounds. 2021, we look at numbers, take more of a tick down the economy, obviously in near-term recession. Look at valuations that we saw in 08, 09. Look at valuations that we saw in terms of the worst case, you know, during down ticks and put those scenarios to these names. And that's why when you look at names, let's say like an Apple, you start to get to value, valuation frameworks that you're able to at least put some semblance um, in this uh, unprecedented market. Dan, do you assume that the companies that were doing well going into this particular downturn will be the companies that do well coming out of it? Look, I mean, that's our assumption. It's been the one that we've used with our playbook during other crises. And that's why for us, when we look at names like an Apple and Microsoft, the next no one knows what's going to happen the next hour, let alone the next day. But on the other side of this, you put a framework, those are names we continue to think come out of this. And those are what I view as Rock or Gibraltar names in a market that um, you know, is obviously unprecedented for both institutional as well as retail. Dan.